Ladies and gentlemen, the new 911 GT3. Absolutely thrilling, isn't it? You know, when we talk about the Porsche jeans, we need a reference. A car in our current range that carries the code most clearly. And here it is, the new Porsche 911 GT3. Our motorsport-inspired cars are more than just a badge and a name. The new GT3 is built in the same facility as our GT3 Cup cars, created by the same team, tested on the same track. Its naturally aspirated 4-liter engine produces 500 horsepower and is virtually unchanged from the cup car. The new GT3 uses intelligent lightweight construction, active rear axle steering, and an aero package led by the trademark carbon rear wing. So it handles like the cup car too. In a sometimes sanitized age, the GT3 offers a driving experience which is completely unfiltered and pure Porsche. This is underlined by that fact that we will once again offer the option of a six-speed manual transmission in the GT3. The seven-speed PDK comes as standard. Equipped with PDK, the new GT3 accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.4 seconds. But the GT3 isn't just about the numbers. It's about that direct connection between car and driver. It's rare these days. GT3 customers really crave that feeling. So we've listened to them, and we will offer this GT3 with a manual. Whichever transmission you choose, you will get a road-going race car that feels truly alive. Speaking of race cars, it's my pleasure to welcome on stage a man who is not only a Porsche brand ambassador and a world endurance champion, but also a lifelong Porsche enthusiast and owner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Porsche brand ambassador, Mr. Mark Weber. Hi, Mark. Welcome, welcome on stage. Thank you. So, so tell us, you're, you're a racer. What do you think about the new GT3? Well, I'm always excited when we have a, a new 911, but also with, uh, with the GT in front. It always gives you a, a bit of goosebumps, to be honest. So uh, it's, a, it's a street car it's a, it's a, with, with, with street plates on it, but it's, it's racing heritage. So we're excited by that. It's got uh, an incredible amount of performance. We know that we've had with, the, even if you look back to the 70s, the 2.7 RS, the long, long history here to have uh, these type of cars with race derivative backgrounds that we can put onto the road. That's what the customers love. Mark, let us talk about racetrack and, and roads. How close does this GT3 feel to the GT3 Cup? Well, it's unfiltered, really. I mean, we have uh, a very similar engine, of course, uh, built in the same place by the same people from our Cup car, which is pretty exciting. And the engine, obviously, is a huge part of the driver performance and the interface for us. So we're excited by that. Obviously, you have the choices for some lightweight construction as well. Uh, and also, my choice, if I have a chance, which I've done on some of my GT cars personally, is to select the sports bucket seats to make it a bit lighter, things like that, give it the real race experience. Yeah, now I have the $1 million question for you, PDK or manual, what do you think? Tricky. Uh, I'm a PDK man. I know it's maybe a bit controversial, but uh, I love the PDK. I mean, it's been developed on the racetrack over so many years, and uh, it's super fast. I can't change gears as fast as, uh, as, a, as, a, as a manual box, so um, the PDK does a great job. Also on downshifting, people forget that. It's upshifting, but also on the downshift, it's very, very good. But what we do know is people have a big, big affection to the manual box and the emotion of this, so that's why they have a, a really nice choice to have that uh, choice with the manual box now on the, on the new GT3. Okay, at the end, uh, let us talk about electromobility. With the Le Mans winning car, you helped us uh, to develop our e-hybrid system. What do you think about it in the new Panamera? This one's personally very important to me, and I saw this technology from day zero, and what we've managed to achieve with the, with the 919, also with some, some DNA from the 918. So that's very, very special for us to see the range of the, of the electric component. Massive horsepower, like you said, combustion engine and electric side, we're looking at 680 horsepower, which is phenomenal, as you say, class leader. 
And uh, we are continuing to work on these technologies with our motorsport programs. It's very, very important. The 919 is testing today. Testing today, and we continue to learn and make sure that we understand these technologies going forward. Okay, Mark. Thanks. It was a pleasure having you on Thank stage. You.